hello everyone in this video we're going to make this print like effect uh, with the simulation nodes and in this i will also explain a new projection method to project any kind of field onto any mesh so let's get start and we're going to make this kind of setup for the geometry nodes for this effect so let's add a plane then we're going to add the geometry nodes uh, for this effect you can also use the points of the geometry or the distribute points to use the points of the geometry you can use the mesh to points node for this tutorial we're going to use the distribute points onto the surface so we have these points uh, let me disable this timing and named attribute and then we're going to move these points based on our field or projected field so for that we're going to use the simulation nodes so let me add the simulation nodes so if you don't know about the simulation nodes, uh, it's basically like a loop, but it is iteration is controlled by the animation, not by any kind of parameter. And you can think this, this input node is like a previous frame geometry and this simulation output node is like a current frame geometry. So if I plug this plane into this and let me see this. So we have this in between these nodes you're going to do a any kind of operation so let's add the transform node so if i type here one see we are transforming this plane by a one unit and if i connect this to this see these two things are same uh, simulation output node basically outputting the resultant geometry from all the operations right now we are using only one operation that is the transform so if we go to the next frame then plane move by two units then three four and so on so in this effect we're going to use the simulation nodes to transform these points based on the field so let's add a fresh new simulation zone connect this to this and then this to the output now let me also combine this geometry to the output so that we have a reference for this so we have these points next we're going to add the set position node to change uh, the position of these points and then we're going to basically offset these points based on the field and here i have added this scale node so that we have a control over the offset and for the scale we're going to use point one you can think this scale as a time step okay here we're going to input our field so let's add the noise field let me type here two zero 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 and then we're going to add the subtract node vector subtract node because we don't need the vector field we need the direction of the vector field so that it is mean direction is zero now if i connect this to the scale and run the animation see these points are moving if we add more points so these points are moving based on the noise so let me go to the first frame and type 50 in my previous videos i have shown that how to project this kind of field using the cross product and the normal of the surface uh, but that is okay if you are doing any kind of basic animations however if you want to do a technical animation then that method is not uh, correct uh, let me show you that first we need the normal of the surface so let's add the sample nearest surface node so that we can sample the normal of the surface based on the position of the points so now we have the normal of the surface so if i add the cross product and then cross product this this noise field with this normal and then let me add the mix node so that we can compare this direction with the original field and then we can view this direction with the ks vector viewer node by the way this vector viewer node and my file of nodes these nodes are freely available on my gumroad page the link is in the video description so if i connect this and view this we have this direction of the field so this is the noise field let me increase the points and also decrease the noise scale and if yeah something like this so this is the noise field okay this is the direction of the noise field so if i go to the top view and use the this cross product projection see it is rotating the field and projecting onto the surface 
The reason for is that this cross product is outputting a vector which is perpendicular to this normal as well as to this noise field. Because it is perpendicular to this normal then it will be parallel to the mesh surface. So that's why this rotation is happening. But that vector is based on the noise. So we get a noise like a pattern for that. So now we're going to use the correct method. First we're going to calculate the portion of the field which is parallel to the normal of this surface. So let's add the project node and then we're going to use this normal and if I plug this to this. So this is the noise field and if we make this one. So this is the portion of the field which is parallel or anti-parallel to the normal of the surface. So now if we subtract this portion from our original field, we will end up with the portion of the field which is parallel to the surface. Uh, now you can see that if we go to the top view, it is not rotating the field, only projecting to the surface. See? So let me delete this, delete this. So we're going to use this projection method to advect these particles. So let's normalize them and after this we can connect this to the this vector. Let me put this here and this is our projection of the field. So let me decrease this scale. Okay. Next you can see that these particles are moving away from this plane. I want to keep these particles onto this surface. So let's add the proximity node and then duplicate this uh, set position node and use this as position. Let me hide other sockets. Uh, let me clean this uh, node tree. Now these points are moving only onto this plane, not going outside from this plane. Right now we are only adding the points on the start frame and then advecting based on this noise field. Uh, next we are going to add the points on each frame then advecting based on the noise field. So for that we are going to use the join geometry node, connect this here and then disconnect this and connect this to the join geometry node. This setup is basically adding this number of points on each frame with this geometry node. See, let me make this around 50 and you can change the seat or you can also play with this density. Okay, by the way, uh, this kind of dynamic density is not available in the current particle system of Blender. Uh, you can use this kind of setup to make a dynamic density based points or dynamic density base uh, particles. Now we have this. Uh, next, uh, we're going to change the radius of these points based on our animation. So we're going to animate this for 100 frame. Uh, you can use any animation range. To change the radius of these points, we need to add the set point radius node. Okay. So then we need the map range node and here we're going to connect the frame scene frame or the time and our frame is changing from 1 to 100 and we want to change our radius from 0 0.01 to 0 0.05 and if we go to the solid view let me hide this plane see the radius is changing with time. Points that are added in the start of the frame have smaller radius and the points that are added in the end of the frame has larger radius. So they are gradually increasing as this animation is progressing. So here you can also add the random node to add the variation. Type here 0 0.06 and here 0 0.03 and change this seed. See, 
this has larger radius this point has smaller radius and so on okay now we have animation based radius of these points now let's uh, instance some circles based on these points and the radius let me disconnect this and connect this to join node here we're going to add the circles and let's connect the radius node we have this these are open circles so let's fill them with this fill curve node uh, let me enable this outline so that you can see these circles okay next we're going to offset these circles based on their radius along the normal of the underlying mesh so let's add the set position node and here we need to add the scale node and uh, we're going to control this scale with the radius of the points let's add the map range node and then connect this to this here we have to specify the radius range which is 0 0.01 to 0 0.06 so 0 0.01 to 0 0.06 and if i type here one see they are offset along the z axis so with this you can control the offset or you can even invert this offset like this so for this vector we're going to use the normal of the underlying mesh which is this one so let's connect that here and we can also align these uh, circles with the normal of the underlying mesh because in this case we are using the plane but later we're going to use any other mesh like a sphere then we have to properly align these circles along the normal of the mesh let me move this here uh, you can improve the performance uh, using the capture node by capturing the normal first and then using here and here for the rotation right now we have connected this scale to the normal and also this rotation alignment to the normal so it is calculating twice this normal for these uh, two operations let me show you this first enable the timing and if we run the animation uh, you can see that it is around 4 millisecond and 8 millisecond and if we add the capture node change this to a vector and then capture this normal and plug this to this scale and then plug to this vector for the rotation now if we rerun the animation is 3.4 millisecond and 4.2 millisecond and this is plus than 1 millisecond and this effect will be more pronounced if you use a large number of points okay so for the material we have to also store this radius of these points so let's add the store node duplicate this one and connect this to this we're going to name this as radius x we can't use the radius name because it is an inbuilt attribute name and uh, let's also add the set material node uh, let's first create the material then select that here let me show you the complete node tree this is our node tree so let's go to the shading and uh, let me add the attribute node and type radius x so if we view this it's black because we have to change this to instances our final output is instances not the geometry that's why we have to change this to instances after that we're going to add the map range node and then we're going to add the color ramp node connect this to this and then this to the surface here we have to specify the radius range which is 0 0.01 and 0 0.06 okay and now you can change this color let me change this to be a orange that i used in my intro you can play with this uh, color 
okay so let's uh, revert this 0 0.01 to 1 you can change the noise okay so let's rename this as print effect and now we're going to use this on two different object let me disable this one let's add the icosphere we have to increase the number of subdivisions so that we have a smooth sampling for the normal okay next add the geometry node modifier and then select the print effect we have this let me change this offset from 0.2 to 0 so if we run this let me decrease the density of these points and probably for this we can use the cylinders here we are using this filled circle we can also use the cylinder and let me make this around 0.3 depth now we have this kind of discs okay so this is the setup let me recapitulate this first we project the field then use that projected field to offset the points or advect the points and after that we want to keep these points on the surface so we use this proximity node then we use this joint geometry node to add the points on each frame after that we have animated the radius of these points based on our animation range and then we have instanced the circles or the cylinders based on these points and their radius and we also offset these points along the normal of the surface using the radius of these points and the color is based on the radius of these points if you have any query or doubt please let me know in the comment section or you can ask me on my discord channel this is it if you like this then please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more updates or if you want to support me you can support me on my youtube through join link or you can support me on my patreon page or through my presets see you in the next video happy noting bye